Welcome back everyone and thanks for watching and in this particular video I am just going to be finding out a way of being able to heat my hot tub for free using the sun. And I already do that to a certain extent using my solar panels. Solar panels that the electricity that I don't use. For example if I'm just out and about the electricity is not being used it gets diverted to a thing called a sunny boy or something a solar boy which is near my tank. The electricity gets directed to there where it's got an element inside the tank. That element gets heated up, heats up 150 litres of water for me. So what I'm planning to do then is actually do it another way. I've YouTubed a few videos. I'm just showing you my version because I do ultimately want to heat this up for free using the sun and no electricity, no fossil fuels being burnt, anything like that. You know, there is so much energy coming off the sun, why not utilize it? And you know, these have been great for us in the last five, six years. You know, we get free electricity for the house and the workshop. We get free hot water every day. Even if it's cloudy, we still get the tank heated up for us. Um, and we get paid by the government, I don't know, 30p per kilowatt or something like that, that we make. Even though we're meant to be giving some of it back um, to the grid, we don't actually because we've got a gadget like I said called a solar boy or whatever it's called that directs the remaining electricity that we don't use to the immersion tank but anyway I love all that sort of stuff and so this is why I'm going down this route so the idea is if you have a look here I've got a board on my table it's a, just an old piece of shuttering ply um, left over from when I built the extension a while back but it's just been sitting around and it's 1200 by 1200 or four foot by four foot I've gone on Amazon and I've bought this massive coil of piping it's meant for agricultural use you know where for fields and stuff and you just put little holes in it and it walks your field it's hard rigid plastic it's not nice flexible stuff but it's pipe work at the end of the day 18mm in diameter so it allows a quite a lot of water through it so and it's black that's the most important part now, I'm touching it now it's been out in the Sun and it's already quite warm only been out for 10 minutes and it's soaked up the heat and well I'm guess I guess that's the point I'm trying to make anything black soaks up the heat the idea is to uncoil it on this board you know so it's going to start off in the centre of the board and it's going to go round and round and round and round and round keeping it flat to the board not sure how I'm, how I'm going to fix that down maybe using screws or little u-nails would possibly do it and ultimately put this pump in um, the water will be siphoned from the hot tub and then put back into the hot tub once it's gone round the coil and the time it takes to go round the coil the sun should have heated it up and there you go we've got water going in at a certain temperature and coming out maybe one or two degrees hotter even if it's one degree hotter as it circulates it's still heating up the pool water I have bought myself a medium duty pump it's a um, 1400 litre per minute pump maybe a bit too powerful for this we'll soon see but it looks like it's got the right diameter inlet and outlet for this pipe work and so there's going to be a pump in between and it's just going to be pumping that water around at, I worked it out about 20 litres or so per minute um, through the pipe work back into the pool or the hot tub and I don't actually know where I'm going to put the pipe I think it's just going to rest on top of the workshop roof I've got a huge roof and that attracts loads of sun anywhere up there it's going to get sunny the only thing is it's probably about five meters away from the pool and what I'm going to do then is just have to attach a bit of hose pipe maybe flexible stuff that runs along the trellis all the way and into the pool whether I have it fixed permanently so an in and an out fixed directly through the sides or I just put the inlet and outlet in when I need it is yet to be seen but that is what I'm actually planning to do so what I need to do next is just break these straps off 
and start laying it out and see how flexible this stuff is. I've got a feeling it's going to be like little springs where they're really rigid and hard to keep down. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so I'm going to cut these straps, cut away for myself. Not to cut the pipes himself, otherwise I'd be in trouble. There we go. Move all those plastic. There we go. Well, you can see I'm gonna have a gonna have my work cut out for me in a minute. All I've got to do is really find the centre of this board, I think. Start from there, but I need to still have my inlet and outlet coming from the centre. So well, you can see how flexible it is. Eh, it's got a little bit of flex, not too bad, but I just need to figure out how to keep them down nice and flat without them pinging everywhere. There's tons here, look. Absolute tons. So that's what I'm gonna figure out next, how to get these fixed down to the board.